let's talk about this whole the Nintendo Switch is at the midpoint of its life cycle. And what does that really mean? Let's get to the video and let's discuss. Hello there, my name is Levon Kaysen, back at it again with another video. Did you guys know since this decade has started, Nintendo has been saying that the Nintendo Switch is at the midpoint of its life cycle. They've been saying that since 2020, they've been saying that in 2021, they've been saying that in 2022 still. Now, I've been wondering, what does that really mean? Because if you look at the Nintendo Switch from a hardware standpoint, meaning, you know, it's been the main Switch, you know, the one that has the underclock Tegra X1 and four gigabytes of RAM, it has been the main Switch for, at this point, five years. And now we are pretty much a little bit after the halfway point of 2022. And once March 2023 hits, it's going to be six years. And people have been saying that a new Switch could be coming out next year or 2024. So if you really think about it when it comes to hardware, the Nintendo Switch, you know, the one that has the underclock Tegra X1 and four gigabytes of RAM is at the end of its life cycle when you really think about it but when it comes to software that's what i think nintendo means when it comes to the switch is at the midpoint of its life cycle meaning they will support this switch right here with software a little bit more even after the switch 2 or the switch dlss or the switch 4k or whatever you want to call it comes out so let's say if you bought a switch oled in say 2021 or heck even this year and nintendo decides to announce you know a 4k switch um you know sometime this year you know sometime fall of this year or heck even later on in the summer of this year you know nintendo will still support that switch you know the one with the underclock Tegra X1 and 4 gigabytes RAM, still even after the Switch 4K or Switch DLSS comes out. So you'll still probably be able to play, you know, Nintendo's first party games. You know, granted you won't get the 4K and DLSS benefits, but you'll still be able to play those games on your, you know, Switch OLED or, you know, Switch Lite or whatever other old Switch you have at this point. My point is, you'll still be able to play Nintendo's games. But when it comes to third party, you know, I think third party is going to make exclusive games for the Switch 4K model. I really do think that. Because you can only do so much on this Switch. Like, you can only do so much. That's what I think Nintendo means when it comes to the Switch is at the midpoint of its life cycle. I think it means software support. I think there's another possibility, is that the Switch being at the midpoint of its life cycle mean that the brand is at the midpoint of its life cycle, meaning in 2023, you know, there's gonna be the Switch 4K, and then, you know, five year, four or five years after that, we could be talking about, you know, a new Nintendo system that doesn't have the Switch branding, takes on a totally different design, totally different name, and sometime in 2028 or 2029. That's another possibility. People probably think, like, the S Nintendo Switch is at the midpoint of its life cycle, meaning they will continue to make this the main switch that they will support, meaning that the OLED switch, the Switch Lite, and this switch right here, all have Tegra X1s, will be the main Nintendo switch that they support until further notice, meaning like three years from now or two years from now, Switch 2 will probably come out. You know, that could be what a lot of people think when it comes to the Nintendo Switch is at the midpoint of its life cycle. I don't think that's gonna be the case. I think Nintendo will focus on 
another Switch model, the Switch 4K, but will still keep the OG Switch around for software support. Meaning that Nintendo will still put, you know, software and third party developers, you know, put smaller games on this Switch right here still, even after another Switch with a 4K or DLSS comes out in 2023 or 2024. Like, I don't think Nintendo is going to leave those Switch owners, you know, behind, you know, anytime af right after the new Switch 4K or the Switch DLSS comes out. Not right away. But eventually, those Switch owners with Switch Lights, Switch OGs, um, you know, Switch OLEDs with Tegra X1s and 4 gigabytes of RAM, you know, eventually they're gonna have to be left behind. What do you guys think? When Nintendo says the Switch is at the midpoint of its life cycle, what do you guys think that really means? Do you guys think it means supporting the OG Switch, you know, even further? Meaning like, into 2024, 2025? Do you guys think it means that Nintendo still treats this as the primary Nintendo Switch that they focus on? Or do you guys think that it means as a brand, meaning the brand is at the midpoint of its life cycle? Meaning, you know, after Switch 2, Nintendo is going to make a new system with a different name and a different design. You know, in 2028, 2029, or 2030. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below this video. See you guys later, and peace. So now that you have made it to the end of the video, I want you guys to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and when you hit that notification bell, you gotta hit all notifications so that way you can be notified for future live on case and tech videos future live on case and gaming videos future live on case and live streams and also other videos that i do such as you know reaction videos and and things of that nature bye